Hi guys, I'm coming in today with a raw video. This is gonna most honestly go from phone to laptop, uh, phone to YouTube, sorry. Probably not gonna edit it because I want this to go out in real time. Today is Monday the 13th of January, Lewis? No, 13th of July, sorry. I've been in lockdown so much, this brain is mush. So yeah, it's July 13th, the UK is now on, well, no lockdown, is it? Everything's open again, yeah? Pretty much everything is open. There's uh, bars and club, clubs? I don't know, do clubs open? No, no bars open, clubs. pubs and bars opened last weekend. Clubs are still closed. Cinemas and restaurants are to open and swimming pools are to open this following weekend so this vlog is going to be isolation or lockdown vlog seven and it's going to be the last one until something else happens because everything is opening we've been on an ease of lockdown now for about three weeks it started with shops and then it went on to the pubs and the schools well it went from shops to schools to pubs and now it's sort of coming up to the time for the restaurant, cinema, swimming pools. So it's, it's happened very, very quickly. And personally, and this is just an opinion. <coughs> I think it's been rushed more for the British econo economy than it has the care of the British people. I believe UK has the largest death toll. Um, Lewis, can you look up the death toll of the UK? There, on my last look, there was about 40,000 UK deaths, and I believe that's, U, US might be a bit, have a few more, but I still think that many cases, and still in the hundreds dying in 24 hours, I think it's too, too early to open anything. Um, just at the ease of lockdown, Leicester got just as we were starting to open up shops, Leicester got re-locked down because the surge of cases was so high, it was actually deemed unsafe to open anything else up in Leicester. Leicester actually was put on another t extra two weeks, and I think that's due to end at the end of this week. So it's already going to show that although national lockdown has basically finished, the or it has ended that there are still too many cases to deal with because obviously if we come out of lockdown and the town says no there's too many cases that clearly shows that some areas are not recovering as well as they should be. I've been obviously the UK as a whole has been on since the 23rd of March I believe. I was put on shielding at the beginning of March so it's been about three what march april may june march april may june and july so it's been four months we've been in lockdown i've got to stay shielding until two more weeks the end of july beginning of august i have to stay shielding too which kind of sucks but we a little while ago was given something called a social bubble which basically means our household can meet up with six other people from a single household or a couple of households but you have to say in groups of six our social bubble is clearly lewis's parents so did you find the death toll what is it Forty-four thousand nine hundred four. so we're nearly at forty-five thousand uk deaths and if that doesn't say unsafe, I don't know what does. There's still over 100 in every 24 hours, isn't there? Since yesterday, there's been 200, uh, 650 new cases. So, yeah, just since yesterday, in 24 hours, there's been nearly 700 new cases. And the death toll has been in the steadies just over 100, sort of between 100 and 150 deaths. So that's why personally, and this is just a personal thought, don't go at me, but I don't think we should be out of lockdown. 
I want to go down to Kent and I want to see my family as much as the next person. I haven't seen them since the very beginning of December. I was due to go down in March. Um, well, I was due to go down in February and then March is when it all sort of started becoming a problem in the UK. So all our travel plans have been put on hold. I would have seen them two or three times by now and I've not seen any of them. So the UK, I don't think is ready to come out of lockdown, but there are certain precautions when you go to a pub, you have to sign paperwork. Um, shops have all got spit shields, like plastic over the um, tills. You have to wear a mask on public transport, whether that be taxi, bus, um, train, anything like that, you have to wear a mask. I've actually, yeah. go on. With taxis, it's only private taxis you have to wear a face mask in, not the ones with the protected plastic. Yeah, did you, if you didn't hear him, he said, with the bigger taxis that don't, don't have the spit shield sort of thing, if you're UK, you'll know them as London cabs, they have an actual shield between the driver and the passengers anyway, so you don't have to use them on there. But sort of the smaller car type ca taxis you do have to wear because there is no shield. Um, you have to wear masks. They advise you to wear masks when you go shopping, which I wear my mask. What? I think hardly anybody's wearing them. Have you seen anybody? I've seen a lot of people wearing them around. I've seen a lot of people coming to shop with them. I've also seen a lot of people on buses wearing them now anyway. Buses is compulsory, so, so... There is a lot of people out there who's wearing face masks. I would say about 50% of people probably are wearing face... Probably not even that, it's probably more like 30% of people are wearing face masks. So, there are precautions in place, but I don't think it's safe to open when we've still got, you know, between 100 and 150, sometimes more deaths in 24 hours and we still have nearly 700 new cases i don't think it's safe to open up the uk i'm still not going to my hospital appointments they're still phoning me and asking me if i'm coming and i'm refusing point blank i am not going to a hospital unless i have to be admitted like i was last time they are doing telephone consultations with me they are posting me blood forms so I can take it to my local office. But I'm refusing all, all appointments. I'm <laughs> point blank, I'm not going to a hospital because I don't want to get sick. So, as I say, guys, this is going to be my last isolation lockdown type vlog I'm doing for now. If there are any big changes or there's any lockdowns which affect us or any any more surges and anything like that that sort of affects Northampton and mainly Corby I probably will do more updates but for now I just wanted to sort of come on put down where it is at the moment and sort of put an end to these vlogs because because the UK is coming out ow Kitty um because the UK is coming out of lockdown, there's now no support. The Boris boxes of the food I was getting, they stop in a week. Or was it 31st of July? So 31st of July, I get mine on a Monday, so I'll have two more boxes. Um, I think it's two more boxes. Um, and then that's it really, all, all supports kind of, cut the boris boxes are being cut um shops are open bars are open swimming pools are open swimming pools a just a soup of infections it's why they think that's a good idea to open i don't know our holiday that was meant to be at the beginning of august we are cancelling we are not going to butlins <coughs> They've kind of halved what they're doing anyway. They're not letting everybody on site. They're cutting who's allowed to go by 50%. Don't know how they choose which 50% of guests get to go. But it's all sort of 
they're open from the 23rd of July. So half of their stuff's going to be, uh, half of their guests are going to be cut. The entertainment's going to be spread out. Social distancing is still a thing. We still do have that uh, two meters, although it's actually now called one meter plus. So you can actually, shops can decide if they now want to move it to one meter or they can have it at two. So although they've said sort of, you know, stay social distancing and keep your distance and wear face masks, they've actually limited how much face, uh, how much contact you can have between people. It's now one meter plus. So we're canceling our holidays. So if you're a viewer, you would have known I was going to Butlins. So that's canceled, but we do have some, I've got some videos in the pipeline, mainly unboxings, but for now guys, that's the end of the isolation videos. I hope, well, I, I hope you haven't enjoyed them, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing a, if you're from a different country, maybe a different country's point of view on it. But for now guys, that's all I've got time for. So it's bye for now. Bye.